Hey guys, Jeff here with Ghost Knight Gaming, and we are back for another episode of Violence, Course Language, and Gaming. And we are still playing Devil May Cry, so let's head on into the game here. Uh, just another warning as as we get started here. There is going to be violence, there is going to be course language, uh, and other things that may not be suitable for younger audiences. So yeah, make sure you're aware of that, and yeah. So, all right, so we're going to continue on to the Demon's Den. So we're heading into the next episode there. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be doing some highlight stuff later because I was kind of fooling about with uh, with playing some of the missions. And I actually uh, did uh, went back and did the boss fight against uh, Lilith again and got a triple S, uh, sensational uh level finish which is the best rank you can get in it and i happen to record most of that fight so you guys get to see that as i put that on a highlight up on uh, uh youtube there to see uh how i did on that match and kind of take a look at when i'm actually awesome at this game so i'm gonna head into the demon's den so this is working towards the end of the game here where we've only got a few missions left and then after done, we're done these missions, uh, which will probably be this the entirety of this uh, stream, we will be heading into uh, Virgil's Downfall next week, and we'll probably play that for a couple of weeks, depending on how long Virgil's Downfall is. I, I have no idea. We made it. We made quite the team. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm smarter. I'm better looking. <laughs> um, um, you, for what it's worth, minus it's Virgil actually keeping the silver hair, they they are twins. So, um, there we go. Yeah, somebody had to do it. Oh, hi. It would appear the doors are locked. All right, so now I gotta unlock the door. And they must know we're coming. Just as Cap predicted. So. What do we have to do here again? Kickstart the backup generators in limbo to overload the system so I can hijack the quantum encryption algorithms. That's it. But, uh... Could you say that first bit again? So, oh. you have to kickstart the generators. Four of them, right? Yeah, that's right. One in each tunnel. Alright, easy enough, I suppose. Look, see? Just like that. All done. I got one. See how talented I am. Cool. All right. Oh. Well, that was awkward. Ha. Down you go. See? Just like that. We actually, like, kind of almost don't suck. All right, so that's the first generator. So I got three more to knock down. So we're going to head back out into the tunnel, and they're just going to make this more complicated as we go. You know, because reasons. See? You know, have to jump across chasms and all that stuff. It's okay. So one down. Oh. Okay, one down. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no. Not getting away, lady. There we go. Just like that. Oh, no. Great. Watch out for Chainsaw Guy. No, not happening. Okay. Oh, that was close. Okay, we're just gonna hit these guys a couple of times like so. There we go. Oh, hey. 
Let's try door number two. Okay. So we're going there. We're going there. Going there. Ooh. All right. So let's see. Can I reach it without getting attacked yet? I don't know how to get to that guy. Oh, I got to go closer. I have to go, like, all the way around. It just... It won't work all the way... Ow. I think I just got hit by it. That was smart. Brilliant me. Getting hit in the face with a... Hi, gentlemen. How's it going? How about we just do this? There we go. Okay, nobody else? Nobody else. Okay, so... Just quickly looking around to see if there's any way to easily get up there. No. Okay, you know, I'm not even going to worry about it right now. We're going to head out. One small to there. One small across the breach. There we go. All right, who wants to face off in here? No, we're not letting you get rolling here. Get rid of his shield. Oh, wonderful. That guy. Ah, oh, Soul was not paying attention. Ow. Oh, so still not paying attention. Okay. Missed that one. Ow. Oh, did not miss that one. Ow. Oh, can't even actually see where I'm hitting on him. Okay. He explodes. Take out that guy. And there we go. Now we got them all. That's two online, Virgil. Good. Rebooting. Or day. Shall I line it up? You can. Or you can get the other generators online. Up to you. All right. Then we got the uh, next one, which is a pain to get to. Oh, I totally made it. Cool. All right. Do we want to do this challenge? I don't know. I think I think we're just gonna continue this time around. I'll do this later. Do 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 do. Yeah, cause this is a pain. Da 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 da. Hey, so we're heading around, and there. Pull. And the generator's up. That's three. Three, I say. Ah, ah. Stop. Oh, nice. There we go. I'll just go all the way around. Could we want to do a, pr a full circle? Totally the way to go. Full circle. All right, now we gotta find our way through here. There's a little side spot there, but I don't think there's anything I need there anymore. I'm pretty certain I explored it the last time I did this. So we're gonna go from here to here. And we're just gonna avoid this. All right, so we've got that coming through. Hey, more of these little guys to shoot up. Get a bit of extra red orbness. I missed it. There we go. Red orbs. More red orbs for me. It's not a whole lot. You don't get a lot of red orbs in this Devil May Cry compared to every other one. They usually have some way for you to be able to get a whole lot. But because the red orbs are pretty much only used for items in this one. 
Okay, I think I can avoid him. Missed. Down you go. Stay down. Uh, you probably got a friend. Oh, it's a whole bunch of these things that I don't want to fight. Oh, it's a good thing they like to charge at me. Really? Oh. That's it. You and your buddy are going to die. Another in the bag. Any problems? No. <laughs> no. Done. Just fighting off hordes of enemies. I'll line them up later. Yeah, it'll be easier to line them up after. It's a bit of a one of those those puzzle things where you gotta move the right dials, the right order, and all that fun stuff, and we'll do that shortly. So, okay, so I need to go somewhere down there. Uh, that way. Right there. There we go. So we're gonna head in here, find more guys to fight, all that fun stuff. No, not close enough. And that is the final generator. So now we got to face off against whoever wants to pick a fight with us, and we'll go from there. Protect. Ow. they go? Did they, like, run away? Oh, there you are. You, like, hid from me or something. That's kind of weird. I, I don't blame him, but it was kind of weird. Okay. I won't be able to reach it from here. Do that. And up. Cool. How's that for slick traversal? That's the way we go. Mind you, if you want to see awesome traversal, uh, Sunset Overdrive is kind of the way uh, way to go there. Um, they made uh, quite the game out of uh, excellent traversal. Hi, guys. We're just gonna play this little game. Ow. Sure, I switch it up to try to, you know, work on my, my comboing and then. Oh, okay, who's next? Oh. Come on. Really? It's the only things that can fight me in while I'm in my uh, in my devil trigger Great. is is those guys. Oh okay. Listen up. To pop this beast open, you will need to line up four conduits with their corresponding servers. Did you get that? Line up all four. Got it. Okay, so this is where things get interesting. That? What? That computer stuff. Hacking? Taught myself as a kid. I guess it gave me a sense of control. Control? We never had that, did we? No. I always felt that something was amiss. Hidden from me. Whoops. So did I. It's like a burning feeling inside. Exactly. All right. Do that. Okay, so that needs to go over there, but what I'm going to do... Killing demons and getting late. 
But the computer stuff, that sounds good too. <laughs> Alright, so I don't need to move this one just yet. Okay. So that one can go there, but I want to set up... Alright. It's a bit of maneuvering is the trick to this. Okay. Like so. So that one is pretty much ready to go over there. That one's ready to go over there. All right. Okay. So I actually intentionally want to do this. So I'm going to do that. 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 Okay. Now I go here. Now I go here. Alright. This one needs to go here. This one. Done. Now watch this. One. Two. Okay. We're in business. And we win. Open says me. That's quite the corridor. And we're seeing two different hallways. You know what you have to do. You lure him out. And I close the hell gate with the Amato. Then we go for the kill. Any ideas how I draw him out? We kill huh. his unborn child. Get him rabid. Got it. But do not try and kill him. He is immortal until I shut down the hell gate. Right. This is it, Dante. We have to put our lives into each other's hands completely. Without hesitation. Uh huh. My brothers, after all. How'd I do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. They could have been faster, but not bad for completion. I just ignored the door, but and I can't reach the other guy, or at least I don't know how to reach him. Cool. I got another upgrade. All right, so we're heading on to the next mission, Face of the Demon. All right, so things get uh, interesting from here, and we're getting ready for a straight-up knockdown, drag-out fight with Mundus. Um, we've pissed him off. We've made him angry. Now it's time for Dante to do classic Dante thing. Make him even matter. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, nice Hellgate there. Um, too bad we're going to close it on you. Because we hate you, and you're a jerk. Why did you kill my child? I will oh. ask you again. Why did you kill my child? Because you killed my mother. So it was revenge. I see. It was more than that. Oh. It was for freedom. Freedom? Well, you seem to have all the freedom you need. The freedom to murder my heir. I'm not talking about my freedom. I'm talking about mankind's. I'm very altruistic now. And what would mankind do with freedom? suppose because does it really own, matter they had it and what do you think they did with it they fought they killed they starved I brought prosperity I brought structure what have you brought Besides violence, war, death. Um, an okay hairdo? Does that count? Come on, Dante. Get him pissed. You know, I'm on this. You're right. It wasn't for mankind, it was 
<laughs> now we're changing tacks here. We're gonna see what happens. Killing your child like that? Watching it explode into little wet chunks? Hearing you scream like one of your little demon bitches? Priceless. Um I think you succeeded. Um Oh shit. This is gonna get awkward. Ow. We're just gonna hit every building on the way down. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt more. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh. Good thing he has a high tolerance for pain. Okay, make with the closing of the Hellgate. Shut this thing down. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's having a moment. It's having a seizure. Somebody. Medical help. Oh. Um. Oh, that got weird. Um. Oh shit. That doesn't look so good for everybody. What have you done? Well, he's stabbed you in the Leave spine. My brother Oh. Oh. Uh. You okay? Doctor? Impressive. You took your time. You're welcome. Um. Um. Oh. That's probably not good. I mean, for what it's worth, if De uh, Dante and Virgil could survive some of the things that they survive, I'm fairly certain that some of the things that uh, Mundus could survive, being a full-fledged demon, might be a little grander. And, uh, time to face off against, uh, Building Mundus! Oh, hi! I don't remember how to fight this guy, so this is going to get interesting. Whoops! We can kill him now. Hellgate is shut. Never. Any ideas? You see that eye of his? Yes. His demon child had something like that. We start there. We'll have to get it open. You're an asshole. Keep busy. Oh, okay. Don't attack him. Just stay alive until I expose his eye. Really? And he just like throws a sword thing at it. I am always on distractionary duty. Why am I? Uh. Okay. Where's the part I get to control? Oh, hey, bloom. Woo! I made it to the other building. I didn't die. Dude, dude Do with your something. leather pants and shit. That's probably your next problem. Oh, cool. I'm going to double trigger this shit. There. Um, Get to the eye. Okay. I grab onto that. Nice eye. I'll take it. Oh, cool. Cars. Run. 
right into the face. Silence the face meets and prepare for trauma. Ow. Oh. Must be nice to be able to teleport. When do I get to do that? Good save. Look, he's showing cracks. Dante, you see that? Yeah, I see it. He's still in there. We need to get in there and kill him. Yeah, that doesn't seem like anything Come complicated. On, let's go. See, that's always been the one thing between Dante and Virgil. Virgil has always been an expert with one weapon. Come on, I can't do that. I can totally kick a door open. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Why was his body in there? Mundus is merged with his physical body. That's why he's protecting it. So if we kill his body, we kill Mundus. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Smash. Oh, they're going to make me switch to every weapon to work my way through. Oh, hi. How's it going? Whoa. That was a little dramatic. Bring a temper tantrum. Okay, we wanted to... Don't we want to get in there, though? Oh, that's going to be awkward. Let's scream at him. Ah! If I was Dragonborn, that would totally have done something. What have you done to him? Time to go. Oh. Okay, so now we get to fight, right? Ow, ow, ow. Ah. Oh. That's not gonna hurt at all. There, let's smash something. Come here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, go switch weapons. Come on! Nope, the axe isn't doing it. Okay. Am I missing something? Okay, there we go. I should be going to the other building instead of burning alive. Oh, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, almost got the one hand. Smash that hand. Hi. Come here. Oh, that's not awkward at all. <laughs> They're like duking it out inside of him as you're like trying to rip him apart. Ow. I probably should have dodged that one. There we go. Let's go over here. Let's go somewhere where he's not going to light us on fire. Yeah, it doesn't pay to switch to a different weapon. Because the other weapon doesn't attack fast enough for any enough damage to really make a difference. So we're going to keep with this one. And we're just going to keep assaulting his hand as he throws it at us. Conveniently. Guess what? Now you've been disarmed again. Ooh. Eye for an eye, maybe? Oh. Hey, buddy. How's it going? There. No, come on. Virgil, come on. Fight this guy. Quit sucking at this.
Okay, time to go. Ouch. There, let's take the fight. Come on, right to his mouth. There we go, right into the face. All right, punch to the chops. Incoming. Do you ever feel like it's just not your day, buddy? Because, you know what? I'm pretty certain it's not your day. Splort. Punch out of the back of the goo. Okay, he's like a three-eyed statue in the original. Oh. Kind of fits. Hey, I know that place. Been there before. No, I haven't. Wait, not yet. Later. Winning! Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. It's just level the city to take him out. Nothing major. But at least the strip club club was fine. That's good to know. So this is kind of so how do we get on a limbo? Um. All right, so yeah, um, things have gotten a little strange, just a little. Oh, apparently you're supposed to be able to beat this likely even faster, but at least I got like triple S there, so it kind of counts. <laughs> it's brutal. Yeah, that was kind of brutal. I could have done better. All right, so let's take a look here. We have one more mission in here. The end. The last mission is the end. We have to have a whole mission for this. Because, you know, it's dramatic like that. Okay! So... Limbo has collapsed into the real world. What was once hidden is now laid bare for all to see. Revolution is in the air. To see this day. It's the beginning of the end for the demons. Mankind will be free. Yes. In theory. Free from the demons. The path is clear for us to rule. Wait, what? What did you just say? The path is clear for us to rule. To rule what? This. Everything. Virgil. You mean like Munless? No. No. We'll be nothing like Mundus. We'll respect our subjects, not enslave them. Great. He means humans. I thought we were fighting for freedom. It was his freedom we were fighting for, not yours. Don't be so simplistic. Humans are frail. They're like children. They need protection. Not just from others, but from themselves. We, you and I, have saved them. You and I saved them? Who else? A human. Cat was useful, but... Useful? Cat saved my life. Cat held out under torture to keep your existence a secret. Cat led us through yeah. the tower to Mundus's lair. We would have failed 
20 times over if it weren't for her. Listen, if you can't see the chaos that humans will cause, if you don't want the responsibility of protecting them, then stand aside. I'll rule alone. I didn't help you destroy Munda so that you could take his place. I can't let you do this, Virgil. And I can't let you stop me, brother. Stand aside. Don't do this. Virgil, please. Stay out of this! Oh, this is about to go bad. You know, some brotherly rivalries, you know, it's it's a bit of tussling now and then. The scale of the l rivalry between Dante and Virgil, well, considering their power and scale, uh, yeah. You know, brothers will fight her in a little while, but these guys can, like, rip apart reality to a certain degree on their own. One can teleport and slash through, like, reality. The other one, well, he can adapt pretty much any weapon to his repertoire of an arsenal. Like, the arsenal that he has in this Devil May Cry is nothing compared to the arsenal that Dante has had over the course of the entire uh, lifespan of the series. He's he's seen, like, dozens of weapons, and, and eventually I will be doing a top ten list of weapons that Dante has used in Devil May Cry. Whereas Virgil has only ever had the Yamato. Now, it gives credit that the Yamato is, a, like, an amazing sword. But, yeah... All right, he's fast. I've got to be faster. Okay, I've also got to make sure I don't get hit by any of his like really good attacks. All right, things are about to get scary because he's about to devil trigger. Come here, you. Oh, bro, bro, bro. Not this time. There. Axe to the face. Sorry, brother. Don't be. Oh. This is the part where he, like, gets, like, brutal. Uh, there's actually a section where he just starts building up health. And if you don't find a way to knock down, uh, knock him down with, when he starts regaining the health, you're in a bit of trouble here. Just gotta keep hitting him. If I can stay on him, I can keep him down. And I pretty much can't use my guns on him. I pretty much have to, like, stay on top of this guy. Oh, that's going to hurt. If I can devil trigger, I might be able to shut him down, but it won't be for long. It's not too late. Yes, it is. Oh, shit. Ow. We just got to be quicker than him. See, just got to stay on him. Now we're getting into the tough part. And here's the tough part. Uh, no, that's not fair. You're not allowed to bring friends. Oh, that's not cool. Ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. See, and I have to build up a little bit before I use my Devil Trigger. Because I want to make sure that if I use it, I end this fight. Oh, jeez. 
Okay, now they're, now they're starting to get faster. Ow. Gotcha. Stay down, bro. Just skewering them halfway through. Nothing unusual. Um. Uh -huh. Just a little deeper. A little deeper. Yeah, for anybody else, a blade that far through his chest, you know, somewhere around where his heart should be, would have already killed them. The fact that he's still groaning and swearing at him, rolling his eyes in the back of his head because he's almost dead. Ah, uh, he'll live. He'll be fine. Chicks dig, gar dig scars, right? Okay, well, I helped him up. Okay, we're going to stare at each other. My protection now. You've chosen the wrong side. You're not human, Dante. And you never will be. So quick for past tense. Cut through time and space. No big deal. dramatically walk away. Well, she kind of hobbles. Poor girl. Hopefully she'll have time to recover. Sadly, I think the one thing, uh, as far as I know, there isn't going to be a sequel to this one. So, sadly, we're not going to get to see the continuation of this. I, I mean, it, it didn't exactly meet a lot of the critical acclaim that the original Devil May Cry series did. Um, you know, a lot of people took shots at the uh, style, um, the intentional deviations from the original characters. And, you know, while I had some of my misgivings about, you know, uh, Dante's new look, as a whole, the game was not terrible. It's it's fun to play. It's got that same play style that makes it Devil May Cry. Uh, you know, skilled, uh, pr uh, you know, skilled combat that is somewhat easy to learn but exceptionally hard to master and i mean i'm not even playing on any of the higher difficulties i'm playing on one of the lowest difficulties and but as you start getting those higher difficulties being able to chain combos and move around and switch between weapons effectively is the only way to survive and i mean quick on the controller quick on your feet you gotta be pretty darn awesome um some of this stuff is kind of awesome some of the stuff you're seeing in the background here um one of the great things about the Devil May Cry 3 game is they had, uh, in the special edition, they had a bunch of uh, um, great uh, stuff that they did. They showed a lot of the mocap and some of the uh, the voice acting stuff that went into some of the big notable cutscenes in uh, in Devil May Cry 3. So it was really cool to see 
them do all this kind of stuff. Uh, the the mocap stuff, like, truly interesting. Like, and they actually have a lot of guys doing the mocap for a lot of this stuff. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, that's motion capturing. Um, so, right there. So, you've got an actual guy that is uh, playing out these parts. Typically, it's the also the, uh, in some cases, it's the voice actor as well, doing these parts as well. So, he's actually living out and playing out the character in all actuality right so you can see them actually play out each bit for the motion capture and you get to see how it looks afterwards to get that range of fluid motion that human-like look uh for everything like and some of these guys are pretty damn athletic and amazing it's kind of kind of neat to check out so yeah um, <laughs> so I, I like uh, checking out the mocap stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the Devil May Cry, uh, Cry franchise at this point. I mean, uh, Devil May Cry 2 was a, a bump in the road for uh, uh, for Devil May Cry. It wasn't exactly, it wasn't the success that the first Devil May Cry was. 3 was great, and it was actually a prequel. 4 was okay. They tried to change gears, start with a uh, new side character, a uh, new quote unquote main character to throw in, and still had, you know, um, uh, Dante somewhere in there. And it just didn't quite, I don't know, I, did, I, I haven't even finished the game. Um, and then and then they, uh, they sent the, the license over to Ninja Theory in the UK to do this Devil May Cry. And. You know, so, and we haven't seen anything since them releasing the Definitive Edition. So, I, I don't know. So, we'll see how it goes. But next week, we will be playing uh, uh, Virgil's Downfall. We'll see how long that one takes me to play. Probably uh, two to three weeks is probably what we're looking at for that. So, we're going to do that. We're going to enjoy uh, Virgil's Downfall, uh, Downfall, learn a little bit more about... Uh, um, uh, the words, words, uh, escape me. More about Virgil. Uh, I, I haven't played d uh, Downfall yet, so this will be a new experience for me as well. So we'll kind of get to enjoy this together. And then once we're done, Devil May Cry, which will probably be lead us right into the new year or just after the new year, we are going to be playing uh, uh, Doom. Yeah, I want to play some Doom for you guys, and you know, because I want to actually finish the game. Uh, other than that, something I'm looking at for the beginning of uh, next month is I know uh, a few months back when I got the channel kind of up and going, uh, I did a theme week where I themed out uh, and I played a bunch of uh, uh, indie games, uh, some of which I've come back to, uh, of which, uh, for example, uh, Transistor. But I want to do uh, a theme week, I think, based on some of the free stuff that you can access on Xbox One and, X and uh, PlayStation 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys know about this stuff on my Facebook channel. So if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching this right now live on Twitch and you haven't checked out my uh, Facebook page, it's down below if you're uh, watching this on PC. I don't know how this looks on, uh, on some of the other stuff. So, but if you're watching this down below on PC, it should have a link to my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. And if you're on my YouTube channel, I should have a link below in the description for my Facebook page and my Twitch uh, uh, handle. Check all that out, stuff out. Follow me all over the place. That way you can see all the stuff going on. Eventually, I think I'm going to do the Twitter thing, but I don't know yet. Uh, so check me out all over the place. Check all my stuff and keep up to date. I'll let you guys know what's going on. And basically, I'm going to kind of figure out by working with some video editing and stuff like that, what I'm going to do for that... Uh, uh, for that free-to-play stuff. So I'm just going to find as many free-to-play games that I know. And I've got a bunch of them on both of my consoles. And I'm basically going to play them out. And you're going to get to see what is available, what is free on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So if you guys are watching me, say, on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, or you guys are interested in that at some point, at least you know what free games there are to play uh, after that whole crunch of going through Christmas and dealing with gifts and all that kind of stuff and all the other bits and uh, expenses that come in from playing, uh, uh, dealing with Christmas and uh, a whole bunch of free games to try out. Now, not all of them are great, 
uh, that I'm going to show you, but they may pique your interest. And I'm going to throw as many of them as I can get uh, sorted out during that week as best I can. I'm basically going to do a huge recording day, I think, the, the, the week before, if I can, recording bits of each game. And then I'm going to throw it all together in a couple of, uh, of like, three or four big videos that I'm going to uh, show to you guys for each game or for each console. So be sure to stay tuned for that kind of stuff. Tell your friends about this stuff. Get more people coming and watching and following me and checking me out. Uh, that would do me a great, uh, a lot of great help, guys. And I will see you guys again for another game or more Virg uh, Virgil's Downfall if you're watching me right now. Check me out tomorrow. I'll be playing Transistor and then Final Fantasy VII later on this week. And then it'll be Christmas. I don't know if I'll have anything coming up on Christmas. Maybe I'll throw in some Christmas surprises on Christmas Day. A couple extra videos here and there. I still have to do some more intro videos for you guys. I haven't done those in a little while. And I am working on my cosplay stuff. Uh, I haven't had a chance to do much with that either. So, yeah. I hope to see you guys again later. Have fun, guys. And keep gaming.